Hello, it's Kalisha here and today I've just had something brewing in my in my soul all day and I just knew I need to share and for anybody who has carried a child before it's that point where you just feel like you're ready for this baby to be out in the world and for those of you who have not experienced that then it's a feeling of ready to get a number two out of your body <laughs> into the world <laughs> and basically today I've just got that feeling this full feeling in my spirit that I just know I need to share and I've been kind of asking God like all day like what I said right once I've got the children to sleep and you know everything's ready I'll know by then what I need to share and I've not really got a clear direction of what I need to share but God just said as I speak it will come and you just said speak from the heart speak from the heart so I'm going to do that, I'm going to speak from the heart and I'm just going to share whatever comes so bear with me because speaking from the heart is a process, you know, it's something that takes you places and it makes you think and feel so yeah, I just want to share and I just hope that you're able to take something away from what I share today. So Lord, I just ask that you just help me be clear and confident with what I share, Lord, and that the message will reach the heart and souls that it needs to, and that I will have an impact, a positive impact on people. Thank you, Lord. So, I just want to firstly just give God thanks because it's been a tough few days. Um, I've really struggled like with breathing. I, I, I literally felt like somebody had their hand around my neck these last few days. And I came up with like a rash. And it felt like my ribs out of nowhere had been like kicked. So, it's just really painful and I, I did feel this overwhelming sense that I just need to put the covers over my head and go to bed and sat quiet and stayed quiet to sleep but circumstances didn't allow that and I'm grateful because it made me push through the pain and God just gave me a word and it was like push through pain for purpose and I was like push through pain for purpose and I was like wow that's really important and I need to live and breathe that word because at the moment I'm just getting attacked and God just showed me another thing he said the reason your health has been attacked so much over these past few years is because that's the only thing that the enemy can challenge you on right now everything else has been refined and given to me Everything else has been sealed for your health. And I was like, wow. Because I used to have so many battles in the mind of mental just torture from the devil, like dreams and thoughts and so many things that were very, very disturbing and a very difficult time. But God just really kept me in that and he really helped me to overcome the feelings, the thoughts and the disappointments with life, you know. And that was a very, very dark season for me, but I overcame it and another area was emotional because obviously with mental attacks come emotional imbalance you know the irrational feelings the thoughts about yourself the constant 
um, second guessing and worrying and the feeling of um, insecurities and lots and lots of emotional imbalances and again glory to God God brought me out of that and helped me find my identity in him you know I really can say that my identity journey has been the most life preparing amazing experience of my lifetime like when I came to the point of finding my identity and realizing who I was I just was like you know I really started to see myself and started to actually realize that you've got a voice you've got a purpose you do have meaning to life you do have validity you do have visions that you know aren't just in your head you do have a voice that isn't terrible you know and all these amazing experiences came from realizing who i was in christ and realizing that i am beautifully i am wonderfully made i am created in god's image i am the daughter of a king i am somebody and it was just a revelation that was life-changing as i said already it was literally i just became alive and i really do believe if i go into the synchronization of the health feelings and stuff when i got on the path of identity and just standing up for who I am in Christ and not listening to the voice of the enemy anymore. I really can hand on heart say I really believe that that's an alignment when these attacks just became militant and they started being little petty things to full on, full blown threats on my life. And I really didn't recognise at first, I didn't match the two together. It's only actually more recently that I've actually come to the knowledge of that, that the identity caused more attacks because the enemy knew I was getting closer and closer and more and more confident in my identity and who I was. and he didn't like it at all and he tried to take me out but I'm here today defiantly <laughs> and I'm here confidently and I'm here beautifully and even saying that is something that I just can't even believe I, sometimes I can even say the word like I just did not see myself for so many years I just saw this smudge <laughs> it sounds awful but I just I didn't even see B I just saw this smudge and I just was just disgusted I used to just think oh look at you like, I just felt so ugly unattractive and just invisible and it was so soul destroying and obviously that is why it was happening because my soul was being destroyed. I was being shaped by a lie and I was believing a lie, which was shaping my behaviours against myself and, you know, my thoughts about myself, which was then creating barriers for the vessel to be used because it was polluted with rubbish and wrongness. Then there's no space for God to release and do what he needs to do. But I was so distracted in self-worth and uh, just disgust about myself that my purpose 
was not being lived and breathed life into. It was just being strangled. And, you know, I'm, I'm even thinking about, I washed my hair today, finally. <laughs> um, and I was even thinking about it when I was just, sort of my hair, I was thinking, gosh, like after I finished my hair, it would get braided up and it would go under a wig. And yes, you heard me right, all this hair, up until, up until, um, February, March, this hair was under a wig for 98% of the time and for years because again, I just didn't embrace it, I didn't and People used to say if I'd have a glimpse of moments where I'd write out, oh my gosh, your hair's so nice, da, 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 and I'd just be like, oh, thank you, but just tokenistically, because I just never really saw it. To me, it was like, oh my gosh, hassle, too much, da, 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 and, you know, I just used to find wigs, and I used to just put wigs on for work, home, everything. Wig, wig, wig. And my husband used to always say to me, why you got all that hair on your head? Because <laughs> you don't do nothing with it, and I just feel like, mm -hmm. but yeah, you know, hiding true beauty, your own crown of hair, you know, that came from your own hair, and you want to wear a wig, like, even to the point of my hair was a problem, and that's how distorted I had become. I just started to lose my identity that I'd built so hard to discover and it just started to crumble before me because time was elapsing and things were just getting worse with my health and I was just getting battle after battle and I just started to lose the momentum of my identity of my discovery because I was just getting blindsided by all these attacks you know my health and I did say before that I'm writing a book and after I've done this I'm going to go back to writing it um, so watch out um, it's going to be really good you know it's going to be really really good because it's going to be keys that are going to unlock purpose and hope and triumph in many lives and that's something that I'm really excited about because I didn't go through all of this to be silent about it mm -mm -mm. I did not face all of these battles to hold it into myself and to just be complacent about it. God has shown me that I went through what I went through to be a voice on a hill and to shout as loudly as I can about how good God is and how much he has for us and how much he has kept us and blessed us and so much more and I really am excited about what I have to say because it's not even just about me. It's about what God did, how he kept me, you know, it's massive. I look back and I'm like, Kalisha, but God, you really would not be here right now, let alone speaking and sharing. Oh my God, I'm so grateful, so grateful because God's glory and mercy is just so overwhelming sometimes sometimes it just I just it just upsets me but happy tears because I'm just so glad to be here but to be living not existing anymore I've been existing for so much of my life just getting by getting by, getting by, but by God's grace, by his love, by his His mercy, I'm not just existing anymore. I know my purpose and I'm just excited about what is coming next because it's huge. And 
I said before that I found um, old diaries and I started just flicking back I've not gone really far I've just flicked through um, some bits and some of the things that God used to reveal to me about how he's going to use me and you know my purpose and stuff I'm looking now and I'm like God this is happening like this is like stuff from 2008 2009 10 and i'm like god this stuff is happening wow and it's not like when i received it i didn't believe it because that's one thing i can say that i'm so grateful for that no matter how many times i've been shaken literally shaken to an inch of my life God has always, always, always been a firm anchor in my life. And I just feel grateful for the foundations that he set for me. Because so many people, and this is not brag, it's just reality, would have flaked on the turbulence that I faced, but by God's grace, he not only allowed me to come to it, but he brought me through it time and time again. And God's just showing me that I've been tried, I've been tested, and I can be trusted. <laughs> and it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to know that God trusts me with what he's given me. And he, he chose me he chose me, little old Kalisha, and he looked down on earth and he chose me. But it's not just me, he's chosen so many of you that are listening also. But it's about making that choice because lukewarm cannot work with God, it's all or it's nothing because. He cannot work in a polluted vessel. It has to be clean. It has to be cleansed. And it has to be ready. Because he's not a God of force. He doesn't force us to change or do. He asks. He seeks. And he waits. And whilst he's still on that mercy seat, we really, really need to work out our salvation with fear and trembling and know that the signs and the times are really showing themselves and we're getting closer and closer to that point of no return of the final choices that we choose to make whilst we have breath so I'm just asking that you just examine yourself ask god to help you examine yourself don't go digging around because flesh is not going to do it you can't use your own mind on this you have to ask god to shine the light and allow him to put the spotlight on for you to examine and really choose what you want to get out of this life really choose the, the direction you want to take because we really need some people that are ready to fight to roll up them sleeves put on them gloves and put on the whole arm of God and fight because kingdom against kingdom heavenly against the darkness it's going to be happening and it's happening and has been happening. But there's a rise and there's a clash like never before. And it's only going to get more intense. So the time now is to really choose which side are you going to be on. Whose side are you going to be on. Whose side are you going to choose. It's choices. Life is all choices. 
what choice are you going to make? Because I've made my choice and as huge a responsibility is, it's not one that I regret. I don't regret one day. And I'm just looking for opportunities to see God say go and I'm going. Do and I'm doing. Say and I'm saying. Be and I'm being. It's as easy as that. Follow his lead. It's not about trying to abstractly make or make sense. You don't need to do that. It's easy. Like I said, I didn't even know what I was going to say. And I've been talking for 20 minutes, 25, 20, and 57, 58, 59 seconds, <laughs> 21 minutes. And, you know, I didn't even, it didn't feel like five minutes, but. That's the glory of God, you know, when he's moving in you. He won't only just move you to, he'll bring you through. Time and time again, he's done that for me and he's never failed me. Never failed me. Never failed me. And he never will. He's a good God. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. So right now I'm just speaking to all of you that know deep down that you are not fully committed and you're making excuses and you're waiting for this, that and you're there or you're waiting for another sign or wonder or whatever it is. I just urge you to just switch the mindset and just say instead of waiting Let's just live. Let's just live. Let's not exist anymore. Let's live. A purpose. Full life. A purposeful life. That has been orchestrated and created by God. That he will faithfully lead us through. And it's not always going to be easy. Like I said, I've had so many tax on my health but here I am here I am still not out of the woods with this pneumonia business and asthma and all the rest of it but I'm not defined by my health I'm not defined by how good my body's feeling from day to day that doesn't define me this body is temporary this life is temporary And we really need to put our priorities in order and really make a decision that will activate the faith. Activate the faith. Faith without works is dead. So let's activate faith. Let's put on the armour of God and let's move like never before as God's army. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for staying with me and for listening. I really appreciate it and I just know that God's got it in control. And even in this time now of uncertainty of so much anger and frustration with what happened just the other day. Let's put that anger and frustration to good use. Let's utilise it. Let's not just fall into the hands of those that are stirring. But let's be articulate. Let's use the giftings and wisdom to truly effect change, life-changing, long-lasting change, not just something that will fizzle out after a few months when everyone's just forgot about what happened and moved on with life. Let's be effective history-makers, life-changers. In Jesus' name.
I'm opting in. <laughs> God bless you. Bye for now.